Okay, let's talk about a pretty important topic called immunosenescence. This is something that happens over time because you don't dry fast. You never turn on your stem cells, and the stem cells you have have to go through their normal cycles of telomer loss and replication to keep making all the stuff you need for your immune system in the bone marrow and in the thymus. You know, your T cells are made here, not in the bone marrow. And this is what happens when people just age. You know, if you don't dry fast, if you don't turn the system off long enough to dump all the toxins, you end up with the low-grade inflammation, inflammaging they call it, that causes damage to these cells, damage to these uh, immune cells, and they replicate, and those insults are passed on, and passed on, and passed on, until the immune cells they make aren't really very effective. So they don't really protect you from illnesses and sicknesses and things you get infected with. That's immunosenescence, in a nutshell. So how do you regenerate your thymus? How do you regenerate your bone marrow? Or your brain, or your eyes, your ears, your pituitary, your hypothalamus, your hippocampus, any of that stuff. How do you do that? You've got the stem cells to do it, but they're sleeping all the time. They stay asleep and you, until you stop eating long enough to let a switch turn off, protein kinase A. But when you do, they turn on. They regenerate. They produce brand new stem cells. They put brand new stem cells in these organs. They repair the organ cells. They replicate and then actually reside in the niches to secrete paracrine signals that actually make adjacent cells act like younger cells. It's really quite amazing. Because when you turn this thing off, when you turn this thing off, and you take the eating thing out of it, and you end up creating the situation where you're basically asleep for a week. You're up, you're running around, you're doing stuff, but you're not eating and you're not drinking. And there's the way it works. About an hour after you go to sleep, Autophagy turns on, macroautophagy turns on, grabs stuffs inside the cell, takes it to the outside of the cell, releases it into the extracellular matrix to get out of, into the lymphatic system and out of the body. Microphagy turns on, where things inside the cell are encapsulated and dragged over to a lysosome, where it's degraded and dumps a bunch of garbage in the cell, which will then be encapsulated and taken through the exocytosis process out of the cell into the lymphatic system. Then, at about eight or nine hours, chaperone-mediated autophagy turns on, and you end up with a system of grinding up old broken proteins and folded proteins in the lysosomes again to produce amino acids and building blocks to make new cells. It's kind of why we call it the Phoenix Protocol. From the ashes of the old, you make the new Phoenix. And you end up regenerating your cells by turning all these processes on, and uh, you do it just by stopping eating and drinking. You can't do it by just stopping eating. You can't keep drinking because it doesn't turn the system on. So when you stop eating and drinking, you turn on a system that cleans all the, de the toxic debris, decades of stuff that's been accumulating out of the body, reducing inflammation and inflammaging, reducing the effects and damage by toxins to your immune cell system, and you prevent immunosenescence. It's really quite easy when you think about it. It's like you stop eating and drinking, that sleep, you already do dry fasting at night when you sleep, and the cleaning crew comes in. And they're there, even if you wake up, they're still there, but as soon as you eat, they leave the building. So it's tied to eating. You've got to stop eating, you've got to stop drinking to turn these processes that allow your stem cells to wake up, regenerate, and prevent immunosenescence. It's really the only thing you can do. You can't take pills, you can't take uh, foods, you can't take the stuff, the foods have added more debris. It's like you're, <laughs> if you keep eating, you're putting debris in the body from the toxins in the environment. They're going to be held in fat cells. Your bone marrow is fat. It's like filling a bag full of rocks, and every day you throw a few more rocks. You keep dragging that rock bag around until you do a dry fast. Then you empty out all the rocks. You keep putting rocks in the bag. That's just part of life. But every year when you dry fast, you empty the bag. And there's less rocks at the end of, end of the year after you've dumped decades of rocks. It's that simple. So if you want to live longer, you want to stay healthy, you want to have your immune system work, you got to regenerate the organs that create your immune system and the cells in the immune system, the stem cells. Just dry fast. It's really that easy. But for now, think about it. Think about dry fasting. Dry fasting helps prevent immunosenescence.